over here and it's like green we're gonna need that welcome back to the he's zooming the good old southern ia weather stick says it's kind of cold outside today and you can probably tell by the thumbnail but i made a pretty big life decision recently and when i say i made a life choice i've decided to make a business investment uh which is kind of a fancy word for taking a calculated risk and uh this is a big risk <laughs> Which is exciting and scary at the same time. But here she is. I invested in a quad track. Which means I didn't only invest in a quad track, I've made the decision to keep the tile plow around as well. So what does this mean that I've invested in a quad track and now a tile plow? It means as an operation we can do all of the land improvement projects that we want to do and it's actually a business venture that I'm kind of looking to get into. Or I'm not kind of looking to get into, I'm, I'm getting into. Oh, so this is obviously a case. It's a 535 quad track. It's a 2010. It's a one owner machine. It's got 4100 hours on it. Uh, and it weighs about 53,000 pounds. So in comparison to the 9400, which somebody will ask about, why don't we just pull a pipe with the 9400? This weighs 20,000 more pounds and it's got an extra 100 horsepower. So why did I go with this tractor? Well, I like the fact that it was a one owner tractor. The guy took care of all of his equipment, all of his equipment. It has a brand new set of tracks on it. I mean, they are brand new. That's a high dollar value right there. It has the big Cummins engine in it, which at one point when they went to the next, easy girl. The next series of quad tracks, from what I understand, they go to it. I have a tech over some other type of engine in it, which is actually smaller on that, the displacement wise. Uh, so this gal right here, she has a big Cummins engine in it. Uh, it's got pretty much a brand new turbo on it too. He replaced the turbo, I think he said within one or two years of it. Uh, this is the type of engine that I look for when I look at pieces of equipment. And I think I've stated that in other videos. I like it. Transmission wise, this transmission actually has been repaired really recently. Uh, it has a reman transmission put into it. And actually it has one year warranty left on the transmission. That kind of gives me a good warm fuzzy. Uh, apparently a weak spot on these tractors is the transmission when you're pulling big tillage tools at really high speeds. Not something that this thing's gonna be doing a lot of. It's gonna be going really slow. <laughs> the paint for the most part is pretty good for a case, I would say. Uh, the other big ticket for us this that we got with this one, and what really drew me to it, is it actually has a PTO. It's not a bareback quad, it has a PTO. That opens it up to the possibilities of running a grain cart or even possibly a planter, but that's not really what we're looking for. The PTO uh, could run a grain cart, that's that's a good ticket item. And reading about some things that I might want to do with this tractor, because it's going to pull a tile plow, uh, I might consider, or I will probably consider getting it tuned to get a little more low and umph into this tractor. And supposedly Case can actually come out and change some shift points to make it more of a scraper style of a tractor. Might hurt me fuel economy wise when I'm pulling tillage tools with it or things like that, but it, it should make it even better of a tile plow tractor. You want to go for a ride? He's probably like, don't make me go on a redneck. Oh, that's a heavy door. It hit me right on the hip. Ow. Well, I found my first complaint. I barely fit over here. <laughs> it's got a leather seat. Though. The hips don't lie. <laughs> Look. It's got like a handrail for you. Oh, wonderful. It's good. Hey, you can put that over on you. So 
in the cab it's got the leather trim package whatever that is for it uh, the armrest here looks a lot like the new Hollands other than it has a shifter up here instead of this being the shifter this is actually the throttle uh, PTO this is the diff locks uh, it's got auto steer auto deals the four remotes up there the knowledge center radio air conditioning and everything else like that you need to know let's go go for a spin look there's even a perfect little bandit hook But yep, there it is. That's uh, the big news is that there's uh, now a quad track on on the farm and we're gonna be doing some tiling. So if you're in Southern Iowa around us and you got some wet spots in your field, let me know. Maybe we can get some pipe in the ground for you. Shameless plug. Shameless plug, right? <laughs> Before I leave though, I, I, I forgot. There's, there's one thing left that we gotta do real quick though. Horsepower? It's supposed to have 535 horsepower. Wow. Look at them. <laughs> what? Is... You're going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Man alive. It's big, isn't it? <laughs> it's big. We'll like it. Huh? Does Bandit like it? Ah, oh, he hasn't raised it yet. <laughs> <laughs> 